Good morning everyone, como esta? So, today, what do I have planned? I'm gonna go downstairs and go eat a little bit, and then I might do the wine tasting today, I gotta see. But I have to go buy some water. And we didn't get to go to the botanical gardens yesterday because it got too late. We did go to the bird kingdom. I'll post that in like a part two type video because uh, it would've been too much, you know. I had a very fun day, Ruby and I had a very fun day. Okay, so this is the start of my day, I'll see you guys. I love going to hotels because it gives me ideas about things to build in the house. Like this chair. Well, I think it's cool. It's very easy to build. I'll let them build it for me. Instead, I'll do like in leather. It's a little more like, I don't know, it's full. So that's the hotel we're staying at. And then right across the street is actually a like a tangent, like an outlet situation over here. We're looking for a place where I can buy a bunch of water. So I'll show you the street around. Lund 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 Lundley Lane. Lundley's we did some uh, basic shopping at Don's Convenience Store. Oh, look at this uh, Jamaican spot over here. It's, small. it's curry goats. We are going to be going to the wineries. One winery, I'm sorry. Um, it's called Trius, the Trius Winery. It says that it is the only winery in Niagara that has an underground cellar, so I'd love to see that because um, I'm not a big drinker when it comes to beer or liquor. However, I do drink wine from time to time, so I want to be more well-versed in the whining world. I want to get more knowledge about it because, uh, you know, just, just, just because, because, you know, who doesn't? about, you know, the difference between like Merlots, Chardonnays, Pinot Noirs, and all the, I, I don't know nothing about wet wine, dry wine, so this would be a great experience, great learning experience, and added on to my uh, ever-growing knowledge base. I'm gonna go get a taxi, so the next time I'll see you is on the road to the winery. <laughs> Here at the winery. Very nice place. I guess these are old uh, wine barrels. I'm gonna go up there. Going upstairs. Wow, that's beautiful. Check out this view. <laughs> So we're contemplating whether to do the test, taste testing, or the tour. Our tour it will happen at four o'clock. I hope this is good because it's a little cold. But I know it's not cold for most Canadians, but it's cold for me. But I just want to see the sellers. So the winery has a, a restaurant, obviously a gift shop. I want to see the presses. I want to see the inner workings of it, the behind the scenes. That's that's what I'm more into. Have you ever seen an upside down Christmas tree? Tour has commenced. I 
think we are done with the tour. My impression is pretty good tour. I learned a lot, especially with about the ice wine, how wine is processed, uh, white and red. So very helpful, very helpful. So with the oh, this the the seat feels okay. So I wanted to go over. Let me go this way. I don't know if that's good. I wanted to go over uh, why me and Ruby never had a honeymoon. Short story is, we got married in 2008. Uh, I, we got married like one week before I had to leave to go to back to America because as many of you know, my mother had a tumor in her brain. So she had to take that out. And then was, I was up and gone. So we, she went from like girlfriend to fiance to being left. Uh, a wife that got left behind. When she was fortunate enough to come to America, we saved all our money. We saved our money for like a year or two years. So we, we took that money and we spent for a formal church wedding in the Philippines. We did that, but at the same time, cause you know, the trip is very expensive to go to the Philippines. We were gonna kill two birds with one stone. On the same day of the wedding, which was a bad idea, we also had a blessing of uh, one of our buildings. Even that, we never had a real formal honeymoon. So after almost 10 years of being together, this is basically our short honeymoon where I actually escaped from, from business. It's been very fun. I plan to go on another honeymoon probably soon. Probably every year I'm gonna go on honeymoon, I told Ruby. Together I wanna go to, with or without children, it doesn't matter to me. I do wanna go to Singapore. I want to go to Machu Picchu, uh, the, the pyramids, the Nazca Lines, uh, Easter Island, if I can, and uh, as well as places that, uh, that have beautiful botanical gardens because Ruby and I love flowers. So, you know, we love wildlife, so maybe Africa. And, you know, we want to explore the world together. I made it a point within myself that, you know, I wouldn't run our marriage like a conventional marriage. When the money's there... When we can afford it, I want to try to renew our vows every year, or every couple of years. You know, so every year we get buy each other new wedding bands. I buy her a new uh, engagement ring every single year. Most of the time it's been, I miss like one or two years, but pretty much. Just because, you know, you know, I want to show her, you know, my love and appreciation for her. So that is a short story of why we never took a honeymoon. Because we've been very busy working, trying to set a foundation for ourselves as well as continue the businesses that are in my family. All in all, I have no regrets because like many of my friends and people that I know, some of them go into debt because of their wedding. You know, some of them bite more, what's that saying? Bite more off than they can chew. Some people that I don't know personally, but you know, friends of friends, spend so much on a wedding just to get divorced after like one year because of the financial strain that comes with a marriage. And you know, I think the number one or number two causes of Failures of marriage is financial. So that's my cue to go. I am not here to give you any advice about marriage. I can just give you insight of what I do in my marriage. If that helps you in any way, take it with a grain of salt because everybody's different and unique. So take care. My wife is waiting for me. Bye.